you have something in you that uh, was news to me. Uh, I've never heard anybody articulate it that way, but you have inner magic, and you believe in the inner magic of other people. I do. Share that with me, please. Well, the best part of you is you, and I just try to give myself enough real estate, especially now, after being through enough movies, to just recognize if you're authentic and you're just uniquely in your own self, poised, patient, and sure of yourself. You just have to be you. And the inner magic, whatever that thing inside you is, and everyone's got the different thing, but they got something, it gets a chance to come out. So let yourself find the confidence and the strength of the thing that you're the best in the world at, and then go for it. So as a manager, how do we encourage the inner magic of people we work with? Most people spend most of their life focusing on their weaknesses. They're either focusing on them because they're trying to improve them, or they're insecure about having them in the first place. I've always felt that the best leaders just hire people around them that know things they don't know. And if you're the leader surrounded by a team that is so much more talented and better than you, you're one hell of a leader. So, one more question about that. When you a leader, you use empathy. Yes. Uh, what does that mean? Empathy means I actually care. When I ask you how you're doing, I want to hear the response. There's an interest, a human curiosity about how you are doing. There's a human curiosity about walking into a room, a fresh room, for the first time and reading it and understanding the dynamics of it. There's a human empathy when you walk into a boardroom and you're about to give a presentation and it's Friday afternoon. Your pitch is an hour long and everybody in the room has 10 minutes. So don't give the one hour pitch. Give the five hour version of the one hour pitch and nail it. And they'll be giving you high fives as you walk out of the room. So everything is just a little bit different, but the inner magic comes loose when you give it a chance to breathe. And you want to be in the moment. Absolutely in the moment. And capture the moment. Like every moment should be captured in your mind. It's not only a, a, an enjoyable moment, but it's a learning experience. Right. So be alert consume it and recognize you're so much better because of it. And if you always think like that, every day is a learning opportunity. You know, when Michelangelo finished the Sistine Chapel, his comment was, I'm still learning. And we are. And we are. Thank you, Bill. Thank you very much, Gerhard. Thank you.